is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing farmhouse style decorating ideas with you. Some of the spaces I'm going to be decorating today include my coffee bar. I have switched it up. If you follow me over on Instagram, you've gotten a sneak peek. I cannot wait to show you what I have done. I'm also going to be decorating a few spaces in my living room. Again, you've maybe seen some sneak peeks also on my Instagram page. Also a really cute idea for changing up your decor on your front door. If you want to do something different than a wreath, I have an idea. And also too, I'm going to show you how to make a really pretty basket that is super easy with a cereal box and some nautical rope, and you can do any kind of shape and size. I shared this also over on my Instagram page, but I wanted to share it here as well and show you in detail how easy it is to make and then how you can style it in your home. I cannot wait to show you all of these ideas, so stay tuned. And if you are new here to my channel, again, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a coffee or a tea. I'm gonna grab a coffee because it sounds really good this morning. Sit back, relax, and let's get to decorating. First up, I'm gonna share some decorating ideas for your front porch for spring, but this works year round too. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did mention that I was going to take you along as I decorated my front porch, but the weather here has just not been cooperating. So I finally had a short chance to get out on my front porch to decorate it a little bit. So I thought I'd give you a little peek at what I've done. There's still a few other things I wanna do, but I really wanted to focus on these beautiful baskets. How gorgeous are these, you guys? I absolutely love them they are from Hobby Lobby in the spring section and the best part about these is you can change the florals and the greenery out seasonally so once you hang these up whether you have single doors or double doors like me then you can just change them out they are so beautiful and make such a statement and here's an idea for your urns I added a grapevine wreath on top of my urn and then wrapped it with this baby's breath garland from Hobby Lobby and I love using these sachets this one is from Walmart and I tuck it in my urn it just has a welcoming scent. I also like to add a lantern in my urns for a cozy glow. The lanterns are from TJ Maxx. I've had them for years, but you can find similar lanterns anywhere. And what I love about doing this with my urns is I always change it out seasonally with different faux floral picks. And the tulips I'm using on my front porch are from Michael's. Except I'm heading into the living room and I've had this farmhouse sign above this table for a while and it's always been a space I kind of wanted to fill a little bit more well the wait is over I finally found something look at this beautiful tapestry I found it at Hobby Lobby it's gorgeous and you could always wait till it's 50% off it was like $25 once it was on sale I also added these beautiful sconces they are also from Hobby Lobby so you can wait till they're on sale as well and I love the way they frame this tapestry what a difference isn't it so I'm going to add this tray that I recently found at Gabe's for only $7.99 I'm going to place it on top of the cabinet along with a few other pieces that I just shopped my home for including this urn as well as a bowl full of faux artichokes I did pick up these candlesticks I thought they were so pretty I love that raw wooden look they were only $8.99 and then you can get them for 50% off and what I like to do to keep my taper candle in place is I light the bottom of the taper candle over the candlestick add a few drips of wax in it and then place my taper candle in and it kind of is like glue it keeps it from wiggling And finally, I shopped my home for a few other pieces to complete this space. And here is the final look. Such a transformation. I absolutely love the way it turned out. And I hope this space gives you some decorating inspo for your home as well. Thank you. 
Next up, I'm moving on to the console table underneath our television. We have a really big TV. It's the one thing my husband wanted in the living room. So we have a big TV. And what I like to do is go on YouTube and get some artworks to make it look pretty when we are not using the television. So if you have a console table underneath your television, hopefully this will give you some decorating inspo as well. So first I'm gonna start by adding this galvanized bucket set. I thought it was perfect for this space. I also love the way it looks. It is low enough so it won't block the TV. I'm gonna add some greenery in it now, but I love that I can change it out seasonally. So fall, I can add some fall picks and Christmas, Christmas picks, so I'm always thinking ahead. So this is great to use year round. I got this from Mason Grove Farm and I actually do have a website with them. So if you're interested in this, I'll include a link for it in the description below. Next to it, I'm going to add a sign that I already had on hand as well as a cute little bird. But again, I already see a pumpkin sitting here and just being able to change it out seasonally. Next, I have this beautiful ceramic pitcher. I love decorating with pitchers. This is also from Mason Grove Farm, so I'll include a link for that in the description below. And underneath, I'm adding this beautiful basket. I love the shape and size of it. And I'm going to add it to the bottom along with some greens and a cute lantern. And this basket actually is from Mason Grove Farm as well. This lantern I found last year in Gatlinburg. I added a little pop of greenery in this basket. I love the way it looks. If you're interested in any of these decor pieces I'm using from Mason Grove Farm, again, I'll include a link for it in the description below. And all of their decor is like a pop-up shop, so it's very limited in supply. So if you see anything, grab it before it is gone. And if you're watching this and you see something you like and it's already gone, hopefully you can find something that is very similar to use. And I also have my wax warmer on my console table. I love using a wax warmer. Let me know if you do as well. I'll include a link for mine in the description below. I also love using the Swan Creek Candle Co. Wax Melts. They smell amazing. Let me know if you love them as well and what your favorite scent is. One of my favorites is Roasted Espresso. It smells so good. And I hope this gives you some decorating inspo for decorating the console table underneath your TV as well. Next up, we are moving on to my coffee bar. So a couple months ago, at the beginning of the year, I shared my coffee bar with you. Well, I changed it up and I'm so excited to show you. And I have to give some credit to Liz from Traditions by the Seasons. She inspired me to do this. So she has some cabinetry that she just took the doors off and I decided to do it as well. And I absolutely love the way this looks above my coffee bar now. I used to have cabinet doors on these and I took them off and now I have this beautiful open shelving. And if you're not following Liz from Traditions by the Seasons, make sure you hop over to her channel and follow her as well and let her know I sent you. She doesn't even know I mentioned this in this video, but I wanted to give her credit because every time I watch her videos, I always get so inspired. She's got such great decorating ideas too. And hopefully this will inspire you as well if you have a similar setup like me with some cabinets above your coffee bar to remove the doors. I know I shared this over on my Instagram page a few months ago and so many of you guys were loving it, but I also love the open shelving that I have now. So I wanted to show you how I styled it. I obviously have it styled for spring and Easter right now, but I'm so excited to be able to change it up seasonally. And last up, we are going to make a really cool basket with a cereal box, or in this case, I'm using an oatmeal box, but the one I just showed you with the tulips was made with a family size box of cereal. Of course, I emptied the box of cereal too. I shared that over on my Instagram page. Well, I wanted to make a smaller one, and that is what's so great, is you can use any size box. I actually have a kitty litter box too that I'm gonna do, so if you wanna make a bigger one. So you just need some sort of box, and I just cut the top because I wanted to have the box standing the long way uh, instead of using using the opening for that was on the box. So I just taped it up. Now I have some nautical rope. Now this is from Dollar Tree. I'll be honest with you. You can get it a little bit cheaper at Hobby Lobby if you need a big thing of nautical rope. And I'm just going to add some hot glue to the box and wrap the nautical rope around it. 
So I'm just gonna go around the box, wrapping it around, adding a ribbon of hot glue, wrapping the nautical rope around till I get all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna make a cute little handle with some wired nautical rope. I also wanted to go back to the coffee bar really quick too, because I feel like I haven't talked about much of what was on there. So a lot of those pieces are actually Ray Dunn. So if you have some Ray Dunn pieces too, but maybe you don't want the writing on display, just turn it around. So I just turned it around on my shelving. So I have more of a subtle look. And I collected a lot of Ray Dunn pieces, especially years ago. So if you did as well, and I still love those pieces and I don't want to part with them, but I still want to have them and I don't want to store them. So even in my black hutch in my dining room, I have a lot of the Ray Dunn pieces that I've collected throughout the years, but I don't want all the writing on it. So I have them just turn around in my hutch too. So hopefully that'll inspire you if you have a lot of Ray Dunn pieces, not to just pop them in storage or get rid of them, but you can still use them and just have a nice solid background by just turning them around. Okay, so now back to the basket. So once I get to the end, I just attach it with the hot glue and then I will just add my new piece of nautical rope. Now these pieces of nautical rope from Dollar Tree have tape on the ends. I do remove the tape from the ends of the nautical rope so you don't see it on the basket as well. And we are getting closer to the end here. I just wanted to show you some sections of how I'm working the nautical rope. I also too, especially as you get further up, I use my hand inside of the box to really press the box up against the nautical rope to so it kind of just helps press it all together. So once I get to the end to the top, because I'm also going to be adding in some wired nautical rope to make the handles, I don't add hot glue to where those pieces are going to go. So I really don't tear the box. So here I am finally getting to the end and it really doesn't take that long. And now I have that wired nautical rope. This is also from Dollar Tree. And I just weave that through the nautical rope and kind of just push it in together to make a handle. So once I attach the handle to the nautical rope, now I will use some hot glue to attach that to the box. And then I'm gonna add a handle to the other side as well. So I'm doing the same thing, looping it around. And then I use some hot glue to attach that thicker piece of nautical rope to the box. And there you have it. You have a beautiful basket and you can make, like I said before, any shape or size. So now I'm gonna add in some of this beautiful Peppergrass. I've been calling it pepper too, but it's called peppergrass. I absolutely love it. I get it at Tanner Tulip and it's so pretty. I love it. This basket has the tulips from Michael's in it that I just love. And you can change this out seasonally. Such a fun, easy, and affordable basket. I'm placing the smaller one here on my bench and look at how darling it looks. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, as well as lots of behind the scenes and stories, make sure you're following me over on my Instagram and Facebook page at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.